It is the day after Election Day, and we are seeing a lot of the results in. One race, though, the 52nd Congressional District, still way too close to call. Let's bring in our political analyst, John Dady, and our political expert, because uh, you called this. You called this a couple of weeks ago. You said, come Election Day, come Election Night, this race will be just too close. The conventional wisdom is when there is a close race, usually it does break a couple days before uh, actual Election Day, et cetera, and somebody comes out, even in close races, two, three, four, five points ahead. I just, I, I just could tell that this was going to be down to the wire, and clearly it is as you and I speak right now. Okay, so they're only separated by 752 votes. Carl DeMaio hangs on to a very, very, very small lead here. How many votes are still yet to be counted? Oh, I've, I've heard different numbers, but uh, quite a few. Uh, I think uh, more than 150,000. More than 150,000. Uh, not necessarily. That's uh, countywide. Not necessarily in the 52nd. So we, we really don't know because there's things such as provisional ballots that you know people drop off and those type of things. Okay, so when when the final vote tally is complete, do you expect the, the margin to be this slim still, or do you expect one of these two candidates to sort of take a stronger lead? I do expect it to be this close. Now, I will tell you, as again, as you and I speak this morning, what the two campaigns are doing, they're looking at all these outstanding votes to see where they're from. And if they're from, you know, one of their strongholds, they're going to start be breathing a lot easier. So all that analysis is going on this morning. Okay, so if it does remain this narrow of a margin, do you expect a recount? It's a very, very strong possibility. I mean, and there's several options about how a recount can be triggered. So, yeah, we just have to wait. But it, it's clearly going to take several days. Okay, very interesting. All right. Uh, the GOP takes control of Congress. No surprise here. A lot of people expected that to happen. Did they expect it to happen uh, in the strength that it did? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you know, they needed a, a net six. You know, they got seven, possibly might go up to eight or nine, depending on a couple of these outstanding elections. So, again, really no big surprises. I mean, Mitch McConnell, for example, bigger than people thought as far as his margin. But uh, yeah, across the country, Republicans certainly are popping champagne. Well, let's talk about how that affects us here in California, even in San Diego. Well, that, absolutely, because, again, the upper house, the Senate will change. And one of our uh, statewide uh, U.S. senators, Diane Feinstein, has been chairman of a committee because her her parties in power, well, she'll lose that. She'll lose her extra staff, she'll lose her nice big office, and she'll lose that clout. Now, we don't know which Republicans will, will take over on that, but that's, it, it is going to affect California a great deal. Okay, well, so we'll see how that shakes out. Speaking of California, um, although a lot of the states were bright red in the maps that we saw last night, California remains blue. Blue is most be. Have, are the Republicans a, a dying breed in this state? What is going on with the Republican Party in the state of California? I wouldn't go as far as to say they're a dying breed, but clearly, I mean, one indication, to use your terms, are they a dying breed, is that the, they, the Republicans thought they might have a chance of picking up one or two statewide offices, and now it's all Democrats. Uh, that, 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 that did not happen. So clearly, statewide, it's blue. Now, keep in mind, though, it is California. There are large pockets within the state of conservative Republicans, and mostly in the Central Valley. Okay, so is there a way for the Republican Party to turn that around in the state of California, or is this just California's history and probably remains that way um, till the end of time as far as we can see? Certainly for the end of time for quite foreseeable future. Here's a little trivia for you because I was involved in this race. In, in 1988, uh, George Bush Sr. was the last Republican to win California, and he won it by a less than a percentage a point, et cetera. Well, in four years later, he didn't even campaign in California, and that's when it switched blue, and the mistake on that was it's been blue ever since. All right, we'll see what happens as far as the 52nd Congressional District. It's the race that we have been watching right here in the county, and we'll keep our eyes on it as votes are counted. You betcha. All right, John Dadian, political expert. I'm going to call you that because you did call a lot of this a couple of weeks ago. Appreciate that very All right, much. Thanks.